What's up guys and welcome back. Bath and Shower, Tile Ideas, episode 39, $50,000 remodel, day one. Got a beautiful view out here. Let's go inside, show you the existing bathroom, show you all of the funny looking, quirky sort of design ideas and mistakes that were made. Um, again, some of you might like this bathroom. It is all marble from floor to walls to wainscot. Um, it doesn't look bad. There are a lot of mistakes, but they want something that's a little more neutral. Uh, wood look planks, some wood look uh, wall tile. Let's go inside and show you. Here we go. And here it is. So master bathroom in this six bathroom, six bedroom house. This is what we're going to start with. We plan on remodeling all of the other bathrooms. So let's kind of take you on a quick tour. As you can see, we have down here 18 inch by 18 inch marble floor. We're on a subfloor, we're on the second story here. A lot of things that we're gonna be doing with this bathroom. So we've got our straight pattern marble. Here's the tub, the tub will be deleted. Everything will be capped off. We're gonna install a makeup desk here, a vanity here. This is a fairly cheap steel tub, gold and chrome fixtures, as you can see there. So this is all gonna go. These cabinets are going, tops are going. We're redoing everything, installing new dark wood cabinets, quartz tops. We're gonna run eight inch by 48 inch planks here. So all of this marble is gonna go all of the cabinets are going to go. Here is your shower room. Again, you got your wainscot here. Bull nose. Here's the big walk-in shower. A lot of interesting things going on, which I will point out momentarily, but let's just quickly give you a walk through, a short tour. Got our curb here was impressed with the shower pan. Now this shower was built, this house was built in 2000, so it's 19 years old. We have a large format marble shower pan. You don't see this very often. Definitely impressive, good idea. Here is your large bench. We've got some glass panels. We're going to keep these glass panels and hopefully use them. A lot of funky sort of designs here. We've got two windows to deal with. We're gonna be tiling all the way up to the ceiling. We're gonna be tiling all the way up to this vaulted ceiling as well. Rectified porcelain will be going on these walls. We will be using Jolly brushed nickel, trim edging. Porcelain again is gonna be on the wainscot. So it's gonna be a good looking shower. I, I'm sure a lot of you guys out there will look at this shower and this bathroom and think this is a good looking bathroom already. And yes, it is. It is nice marble, but this is not the style that they're going for. They don't like the white and the gray and the marble look. They want browns and beiges and wood look for all of the tile from the floor to the walls. Let's show you some of the quirky things. The uh, builder did here. We'll start off by that interesting little light switch. It's cut in here, very strange. When you look at the other switches and plugs, they are installed a lot higher. So I don't know what's going on with that. I mean, keep in mind guys, this is a $2 million house. That's funky. You come over here, I mean, stuff like this. <laughs> you got ABS running through the cabinets. Why not behind the walls? You come over here, you've got a wainscot that ends here abruptly. Not quite sure why they didn't bring it all the way around to the end over there. A funky looking curb with a strange looking cut there. If you come in here into the shower quickly, this is how it was built. I'll show you behind the valve wall. We have half inch drywall, as well as half inch hardy backer. So we've got our hardy backer, and then we have a half inch of drywall behind this hardy backer. These tiles are coming off without a problem in large pieces. As you can see, this is what happens when you don't back butter. 
your bond is very weak. So the demo today will not be that difficult. We've got half inch grout lines here in the pan, some very ugly looking cuts around that drain there. I'm curious to see what kind of damage is below this. Who knows? Let's show you this bench. You can see that bubble. The bench has a pitch down into that corner as well as that corner. And gosh, yeah, there's not too much bad going on with this, but a lot of funny, quirky things like giant grout lines. Bench is not pitched outside of the shower. I have absolutely no idea what this is here. That is plumbing here. I have a feeling this might be, I don't know, ABS. But one of the most interesting corks, failures, I don't know what you want to call it. Just silly craziness is this. We've got a no hub and ABS popping out of the tile in the shower room. And you can see, again, I don't know why that ABS is not behind the wall. It drops down here. And they just simply grouted that no hub. Funny stuff going on in this $2 million home from stuff like that. to stuff like that, and a bench that pitches into the back corner. Then you come over here on this capping of this vanity top. This is very strange. You have a top that overlaps the face, and then you have this face that simply dives into the top. I don't know. This must have been a design idea because you have it over here as well, but again, look at these sloppy, ugly cuts. Very interesting. And then you have a randomly placed toilet right here in this giant bathroom. So we are relocating that. We are removing this cabinet. The toilet will be installed back in the corner. A new little wall will be built. A 24 inch door installed. But here it is. This is our project for the next 20 to 25 days. $50,000 bath and shower remodel. I will be uploading a lot of progress videos on this. It is now time to get to work. Demo days alleviates the need for a gym. So we're excited that these walls are not floated. We're excited that, that the tile is not back buttered. It's on Hardy Backer. Demo is gonna be simple. It will take a full day. This is part one of a large bathroom series. So stay tuned for part two. Here's the bench. Black mold, black mold, black mold. No waterproofing. Party backer, a seam right there. No red guard, aqua defense. No waterproofing at all. This is just sawdust. So another discovery. Check this ABS at the P-trap. Comes right off. Doesn't look like it was glued. This is wild. If you want to see the full video of this shower demo and removal, click the link up here. Let's move on.